Hey guys, it's me, Sky Pistol Gamer, and today we will be talking about the new roadmap that Santa's Survival has posted. If you don't know what a roadmap is, I will tell you. A roadmap talks about which updates are most prioritized and which updates will come later than others. They're also usually posted in sections like update 1, update 2, update 3, so on and so forth. Okay, so the first section of this roadmap is called in progress, which basically means that at the time I'm recording this, they are working on these updates and mechanics. So the first mechanic is bone eating. So let's say you are a hungry carnivore and you stumble upon a carcass, but it only has bones. I'm guessing you would be able to eat the bones, but I don't know if it'll give you nutritional value because bones don't usually give too much nutritional value compared to, well, like meat or something like that. Maybe they could give you a buff somehow. Maybe they can help you, your hunger go down a little bit slower, which maybe gradually over time stops. I really don't know, but bone eating seems like a pretty neat mechanic. Also in, in progress, there is the map design. The island, which is basically Dodo Island, and Oak Savannah, which is the main island that most creatures spawn on, besides the Dodo, of course. In our next section, we have Update 1, which includes the Dire Wolf. The Dire Wolf is in both versions of the game, but we'll be getting new mechanics, such as being able to latch onto prey with its F attack. Draining stamina, and maybe a packing system. This is not confirmed, sadly, but I really hope it happens. Anyways, besides the dire wolf, we have the quagga and the virtual zebra skin. I'm hoping both of these get more food to eat, since, well, there's not much for them to eat besides the grass. Plus, they will be getting a new movement system, just like all the terrestrial animals in the game. Moving on from them, we are getting the Dire Wolf variations and mutations. These variations will occur when you spawn. They will act like how they did in Testing A, where if you spawn in, you might get a different coat than what you did last time you spawned in. Next, we have the Pronghorn, which will be the same as the Quagga, basically. And we have another creature under it, which is the Tool Elk. It will be the exact same as the Quagga in terms of mechanics from what I know. Well actually, now that I think of it, the pronghorn and the tool elk might get jousting, which is how the males use their antlers and stuff to fight each other. But anyways, let's move on to the next section. In our next section, we have following updates, which are updates that will come after update 1. So, in following updates, we have the Kelican, which is a large terrestrial bird. You can see this fearsome bird being played as by developers and admins. The Kelican, from what I can tell, has some new tricks up its sleeves. The Kelican has jump now, which is pretty good. Well, it's not that good compared to other animals, but having a jump is better than not having one. The Kelican also has a peck attack now, which is pretty strong. Also, the Kelican, while it may be slower than a wolf, it's still got a bit more health than a wolf. I feel like it got a little bit more health than it did from previous versions of the game, which I'm happy about. So let's move on from the Kelican and move on to the Steppy Bison, which I am extremely excited for, since there has not been bison or really any bovid in Cenozoic's Rival. There might have been, but I don't remember there being any. It's most likely going to get a jousting move with other bison, and it's going to get the new movement system like all the other terrestrial animals. Moving on from it, we are having the Smilodon Populator, which is already in-game. Smilodon is going to get a new movement system like all the others, and it's also getting a new mechanic where it can pounce onto prey and basically one-shot anything quagga size and under. Moving on from it, we're getting the cave bear, 
which is getting a whole entire new remodel and restats. The cave bear is also getting a new mechanic where if it stands up, nothing can pounce it. So the cave bear won't be as bad as it used to be, having more balanced stats and also having a pretty nice looking model. Next up, we have the thylazine revamp, which is, I'm actually really excited for this. Like, I love the thylazine. The thylazine is getting new stats. Well, no, no, it's not getting new stats. It's just gonna get new colors and its size is gonna get changed. Also, it's gonna get new anima animations. So, the thylazine that the CS developers were using were saturated to a point where they looked more yellow than they actually were, which was more of an ashy brown. Besides the thylazine, we are going to get fish AI, which is pretty nice since bears are getting get at and everything. Plus a lot of animals rely on fish at times. So this is personally going to be a really good update. Well, let's move on from following updates to our next section. In our next section, we have later updates, which are the least prioritized updates out of all the updates in this roadmap. The first animal in later updates is Megalania, which I'm excited for, as Megalania was a large venomous lizard. Now, Megalania will be strong, but it will not be strong enough to 1v1 a rhino. And that makes sense, because it's a lizard, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I just hope that the Megalania is pretty fast for its size, showing that its cousins are really fast for their size. Moving on from the Megalania, we shall move on to a, well, not as amazing creature, we have the Dodo Bird, which is getting a remodel. This remodel will, shall reflect how the actual animal looked and will be more accurate than before. Most likely coming with new animations. I'm not sure about that, but I'm thinking it's coming with new animations. Now, moving on from the Dodo, we move on to Truman's False Cheetah, or the American Cheetah. I'm excited for this one because this animal was really fast. It's the reason why pronghorns are so fast today, because pronghorns had evolved to run away from Truman's false cheetah. And now since the Truman's false cheetah is extinct, the pronghorn can just escape most predators in America. I will really want to see this animal run across the fields of San Jose Drive hunting pronghorn and other small creatures. Next up, we have a well battle made animal, the Deodon. The Deodon is already in game, but it's getting a remodel. There's not much else about the Deodon that I know about besides it having a baby, actually. Like, it actually has a baby model, just like the Kelican. But that's all I know about it. So, the remodel, I don't know if it's going to get restats or any new mechanics besides the movement system. But let's move on. We're moving on to Denictus, the false cat. This animal was basically the leopard of cats. Well, it's not a cat. It's, it's, a, it's closely related to cats, but it's not a cat. I'm honestly excited to see this climb trees and stuff, pouncing down on prey, hunting mid-sized prey. I'd honestly like to see this thing running away from sabers and stuff. It, it just seems like it would be really fun to play as being a mid-tier predator and stuff like that. Moving on from that false cat, we shall go to Hippopotamus Gorgops, which is a large hippo. It's the one that we have in the game right now. It's getting a remodel, and we don't know much else about it, sadly. I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot better on land. I mean, it's gotta be, because it's gonna get a new turn in place and stuff. Moving on, we're going to the Stellar Sea Cow, which is a large marine mammal. 
this guy seems like it would be neat because of how big it is and also that it most likely couldn't dive that far from reports from sailors and people who used to hunt them and such. But it would be nice to see these lumbering giants feeding off seaweed and just having a good time. Well, moving on to them, we're getting Mammoth remodel, which we don't have an image for. We also got a Rhino remodel. We're getting Human update, Quagga variations, which will be stripe patterns and coloration. We're also getting aquatics, more aquatic updates and stuff. And we're also getting flying updates. And with that, we're at the end of the roadmap. If you want to see more updates from Sinners Ogre's Rival, go down in the description of my video and go to the link that will send you to the Discord server for Sinners Ogre's Rival. This is where I got to see the roadmap. Anyways, hope to see you on the next one. Bye.